Good afternoon everybody, it's Thursday afternoon, I'm coming back with another TTM video for all you guys. We got a ton in the mail today, we've got seven returns and one return to sender, which I'll get to. Um, it was kind of my fault I guess you'd say, but I don't know, we'll talk about it. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good week so far, we're closing in on the 4th of July. And uh, hope you guys all have a fun 4th and a safe 4th. Um, don't go do anything stupid or crazy. So let's get started. We'll start with the return to sender. So I sent to Mr. Loy Vot. You can see his address right there. Uh, don't send to that one anymore. Um, when I got this back today, I looked it up and realized that he recently put this house for sale. So I don't know if it's sold or not, but it tells me that he is move moving has moved or in the process of moving so um yeah it's just kind of one of those things so i'm gonna have to research and see if i can find another address for mr vot but i was gonna pull out a couple cards just to show you if you didn't know who he was um i know him most for playing on the clippers um like on this card it says he was a six man but he was a bench player role player in the league uh, played for a few years, um, but I was sending these cards. He is a fantastic signer from what I can tell and loves to sign, which is why I was sending so many to him in one shot. Um, but yeah, so I'll research, get another address, and hopefully I'll get a return and uh, post up for you guys. But for right now, if you guys were planning on sending to him, don't use this address. Okay, now we're moving on to the successes. So this is a two of two success in 21 days. You can see there is no postmark at all. And I actually got this sent to me just like this. So they didn't use the, the, the pulse, the, they didn't pull the paper off to seal it. They just shut the envelope and mailed it. So I'm glad that it got to me. And it is Mrs. or Miss Melanie Shartoff. Ha haven't we... Well, I'd love to stay around here and listen to you stutter all night, but I have a life to live. <laughs> Psycho. Hi, I'm Mary Kaiser. I'm Joanna, and this is Dick. Nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse my last patient. It's taken me years to undo the damage that was done to him by some quack in Chicago. <laughs> She's an actress. Been on quite a few things. Was actually, um, did some Saturday Night Live, as you can see in this photo. Um, doesn't look like too many people have gotten her. So, this one... You can see she put XOO, Melanie Shartoff. And this one she put Stay Well, Melanie Shartoff. So it was awesome getting her back. Um, there's a lot of color photos of her, but I, I thought that the black and white would look good. And I'm actually glad the way they turned out. So we got two back from Miss Melanie Shartoff. Put those right here. Moving on to the next one. We have a three of three success in nine days. This one also is not postmarked. It's coming back from Mr. Todd Blackledge.
So Mr. Blackledge signed the index card for me. You can see it's Proverbs 3, um, numbers 5 and 6. And there's a 4x6 of uh, Mr. Blackledge on this 89 tops. Again, it's a Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. He did that on all of them for me. So he signed this one in blue Sharpie. And then we got this 4x6 of 86 tops. It's Blackledge down and out. You can see he signed it there. Again, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which is hard to tell on the card. Some of it got rubbed off, but when you turn it at an angle, you can see it. So thank you, Mr. Blackledge. Moving on to the next one. We've got a three of three success in nine days coming out of Knoxville, Tennessee. I had just shown this one maybe a week or so ago. Um, you guys know that I've been trying a custom thing. So I had these customs made up the same time I had the Billy Bean made up. And so I, I had them sitting around, so I figured I'd send to, to this person again. So that's the only reason I got a, another return from him so quickly. And it is Mr. Jerry Glanville. So I made this custom 4x6 with the Falcons logo and the Tops logo up there. Put head coach when he was with the Falcons and uh, I signed it in silver Sharpie. And then I had this one of him as the Oilers head coach. And he signed this one in black Sharpie. This one's kind of a little harder to see. And then Mr. Glanville signed the index card as well for us in ink pen. So that came out really good. So that was a 3 of 3 success. So moving on. We have another 3 of 3 success in 9 days out of Atlanta Metro. And it is... Let me see here. Mr. Lou Kur Kur Kurak. Kurak. I'm killing that name, I'm, sh I'm sure. Got this 4x6 of him on... I'm not sure what year Philadelphia this is. I think it's Philadelphia. Um, it's in red uh, ink or I don't know if you want to call it marker or Sharpie, but it's in red right there. Extremely hard to tell. And then I also got him on this photo when he was with the Falcons. He was actually a kicker. That's him right there. You can see his signature is right there in red again. But I thought it was a cool pose because he was actually kicking. So uh, he was a, a guard, offensive lineman, guard, and kicker. And then got him on the index card and ink pin, which came out fantastic. It says, best wishes, Lou. Kuro, Kurowak, something like that. So thank you, sir. The next one we got is a 3 of 3 success in 9 days out of Fort Myers, Florida. And it is Mr. Jim Hart. Wilkinson's enthusiasm was translated from the sidelines to the huddle by quarterback Jim Hart. For years, number 17 has been the foundation of the explosive Cardinal offense. There are few quarterbacks who can read and break down defenses as quickly. He became one of the most accomplished quarterbacks in NFL history not as a result of a flamboyant personal style, but rather from his deft passing touch.
Hart is not a scrambler, but he is quite mobile within the confines of the pocket, an area where a pure thrower creates the most damage. Although injury-ridden throughout most of 1978, Hart was the Cardinals' most valuable player. But his ability to steer the team through the choppy waters of the season can be traced to the Cardinals' offensive line. So I got Mr. Hart on this 4 by 6 uh, and he inscribed it to Brandon and Karina, Jim Hart, 17, quarterback for the St. Louis Cardinals. Of course, he spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. It's D-O-N, not D-I-N. Got him on this 4x6. Which came out extremely nice. And then he signed the index card. In the blue Sharpie. So thank you, Mr. Hart. Moving on to... The cards, these last two are card returns. It's a three of three success in 21 days coming out of Columbus, Ohio. And it is Mr. David Shaw. I'm sorry, Brad Shaw. David Shaw I got a week or two ago. It's Brad Shaw. So we got Mr. Shaw on this upper deck. 1990-91 upper deck card. All rookie team. When he was on the Hartford Whalers. Signed in blue Sharpie. And then we also got Mr. Shaw to sign both index cards in blue Sharpie. It's another fantastic hockey return. We're starting to get more of those coming in. Which is really nice. And the last one of the day, finally got this back. It only took me 21 days, but it seemed like it was longer than that. It's coming out of Westchester. Two out of three success in 21 days. The only thing was not signed was the index card. And it is Mr. Bobby Valentine. So they could keep Mahomes, go to 12 pitchers, drop a position player, or maybe Mahomes would be the pitcher to go down. Runner going, they pitch out, Piazza's throw, not handled. And it's a stolen base, number 21 for Shannon Stewart. Wait a minute now. Uh-oh. What happened here? Did he make contact with the glove? Oh, a catcher's, no, not a catcher's block. Freebeck awarded first base. Interference? I think Bobby Valentine. I think Bobby Valentine might be arguing that in an attempt to protect the base runner, Stewart stepped across home plate. Let's see if he crashed on plate. You can make contact. We'll take a look again. Piazza goes out for the pitch out. I don't even see Greenback. I in know. The I don't know what they called right there. I have no idea what they called. Piazza way out in front. Maybe they're saying he's too far out in front and Griebeck didn't have an opportunity to even throw the bat at the ball. Now, I'll tell you what, if Griebeck throws the bat at the ball, he hits Piazza. And a lot of times on a pitch out, a hitter will throw the bat at the ball. I think from that angle, that was the call that Piazza got out too yeah, quickly. Couldn't do it. And now Ricky beats off the bottom of the 13th against Graham Lloyd and takes a strike. So it'll be Henderson, Alfonso, and remember now, the pitcher is in the third slot with John Olerud having been replaced as part of the double switch. Bobby Valentine, the dugout. Mike. <laughs> Give me that again. <laughs> well, Bobby was thrown out on that catcher's interference call, and he's gone incognito. Sorry, Skip, we got you. So we got Mr. Valentine on this 1987 Tops. And we also got him on the 1990 Tops. He's a fantastic manager. One heck of a character. I know he coached uh, not only in uh, the majors, but he also coached over in uh, Japan. 
and uh, he also coached the uh, USA baseball team. Uh, and he's done a lot, actually. So I was really glad to get Mr. Valentine back. Like I said, it was only 21 days, but it seemed like it was a lot longer than that. And those are the returns, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. I enjoyed getting so many returns back finally. Like I said, I have so many out there. I know that it was bound to happen at some point. They were going to start having to come back. And I guess today was the day on some of them. So if you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I really wish you would. Hope you guys have a blessed evening. Until the next video, see ya.